Hi, I am Alex from Trade Factory and today we are building the e-board. It is a 90mm wheels, dual hub motor, powered by a 10S 4P battery, 36 watts ESC and a remote control with 4 speed. More about the spec later. Now let's get outside. I have already tested and believe me, it's very powerful. The first ride was a bit difficult. I've not been riding a skateboard for over 8-9 years. I went slowly to get used to it and I decided to go in the park to be out of the traffic. Already on the way I got a little experience and uh, in the park I was beginning to feel uh, the speed and I shift from the second gear in the third gear. The controller uh, have uh, four speed and I was beginning to feel the adrenaline all over my body without a helmet and for the first time on the keyboard I made a bad decision. I switch in the fourth gear and look what happened. I feel the pain. Yeah. Let me like your shirt behind. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> what the hard for? I still feel the pain. Don't go without a helmet. Never. After the fall, I was uh, sitting in my house for a few hours and after I get outside to make this clip. Listen the brakes. Nice. In the next morning I was the first one on the store to buy a helmet. The helmet is too big, but I leave it like this. Today I wanted to go to a friend to see how the board uh, is handling on the street. I make 8.2 miles with no problems and when I get back home no battery line was off. After the fall I did not go to the fourth gear but in the third gear I managed to reach 90 miles per hour. In the next few days I brought a better camera to deliver better videos. Oh. Let's turn
which is a hill. FA is going very fast. I can. I give it in the four. Whoa, but now we need to step the brakes. Look, it's not stopping. But still are very good. Yeah. For me, we're fine. Oh, some trattle here. <laughs> I found two apps and I've tested. The first is Komoot and I traveled this route which was a pleasure in some areas but in others it was really difficult for my wheels to go without my brain shaking. With the second app I went on this road which until now is the longest having 13.41 miles. In this day I was uh, with the full battery on uh, the start and when I got back only one line of the battery was off. Yeah, what I want to say about this board, it is too little for my feet and if you want to go with uh, higher speed uh, you are not gonna be able because you need to stretch the leg to can reach the top speed and that's why I will change everything from here on this board. Look how tall it is, it's not fit on this board. And I think this is gonna be enough room for my feet to can handle it. Yeah, my friend Cosmin did a great job with applying this carbon fiber foil. It look amazing, yeah. And I will uh, customize a grip tape. If you have an idea for my grip tape, leave me a comment below. I'm still waiting to print off the parts to move everything. I print everything in uh, PLA carbon. I think it's gonna be tough enough, but all of this is gonna be in another video. And now let's take a look how I build the board and uh, all the specs and uh, all the links where I buy this board if you want to build it and if you are order from the links below this is gonna help my channel to make other projects like this. The kit I order is uh, 197 pounds in the day when I film this video. In the box came the 90 millimeter wheels with the truck frame of uh, 275 millimeters. The dual hub motor which they pretend they deliver 600 watts each. The 36 watts ESC. The remote controller. With the batteries I got what I found on AliExpress, this Litocala 8650 cell, 3.6 volts and uh, 10S 36 volts BMS. I designed in Fusion 360 the box for the component and the battery. I printed in ABS and I finish it with the sandpaper and after I made it an acetone vapor bath to shine again and I uh, stick it with uh, epoxy
Connecting the battery was difficult for me because I did not know nothing about how you to build your battery and I see a lot of video on YouTube with uh, a lot of accidents with this cell. For that I brought this uh, battery welding machine so I will not uh, need to solder nothing because I'm not good at all at that you can find all the links in the description for the welding machine you need a proper socket with the high voltage fuse because you're gonna happen like here But I uh, managed to find the plug in the house and I start to build my battery. Everything goes well. I put two rows of nickel of 1.2 mm thickness because that of 2 mm did not weld properly. And I will stick this nickel plate for the balance wire. And finally I finish the battery and I leave it to charge overnight. The next day I was so enthusiastic to see if my battery did not blow my house down and I plug everything together to see if my hub motors are running. And success! Everything go proper. I printed with TPU this gasket and I stick them over the box with the same epoxy. And now we need to put everything together with this screw. cover the holes because I needed more space between the rails
and finally everything is right exactly how I want it. If you like this clip, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I am Alex and this is all for today. See you next time. Bye.